Uh, thank you very much, uh, Governor B. Um, at least uh, County Commissioner Alisha train watu. So, mambo ya kusema Madam Waziri Sa, hakuna hapa. Your Excellency uh, Governor, uh, Dr. Jonathan B, uh, aka Kotimoja, and also happens to have been my librarian in high school. Um, Simungu ni mkuu na tuko hapa. Eh, Mweshmua Senator eh, of this great county, uh, Jackson Mandago, who was also my classmate in the Senate for one and a half months. Jomana Nanita Senator. Um, and we are going to take seriously your offer to adopt a uh, wetland. I hope uh, the CCF and uh, DG NEMA, uh, I will want that report on Monday on which wetland you have assigned to Senator Mandago. It's a very, very important gesture for me. And I thank you for taking that uh, initiative. Na hiyo mambo ya bambu pia, atuwezi kwa sana, sini partnership. Na hiyo carbon markets kwa, kwa bambu, so ni vitu mingi. Um, the Principal Secretary, State Department for Environment and Climate Change, uh, Engineer Ngeno, uh, Honorable Members of Parliament, um, na tuna uh, C National Government uh, CDF Committee Chair, Honorable Sirma, um, the Area MP, Honorable Ruto, Um, and uh, the very esteemed members of uh, our committee for environment uh, of the National Assembly, I really appreciate your presence here. It gives us a lot of encouragement as a ministry. And uh, I was just telling my DGs and the PS that I'm happy to see members of parliament walking with us. Uh, in a very collaborative manner. That is the only way we can sustain what we want to do. Na Mweshmiwa, eh, Beatrice Kemei, you did a very good job as PA to the chair, so nita muambia, uh, that you represented him very well. Uh, na pia Mweshmiwa Joseph Wainaina, uh, who is also one of the members of parliament uh, from this uh, county. Uh, the county commissioner of Wasingishu County, uh, Dr. Edison Nyale, um, Chairperson uh, Nema, uh, Mr. Emilio Mugo, and all board chairpersons who are here, uh, Nema, Board of Directors, uh, Kenya Forest Service, um, the CCF, um, heads of agencies. I've also seen a number of uh, uh, non-governmental organizations here, uh, representatives of UN agencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Jambo Wote. Chamge Tugul. Mko Salama. I'm very happy and delighted to join you today on this very beautiful site for the 2024 annual World Wetlands Day. This year's Wetlands Day carries the theme of wetlands and human well-being. And it fits in very well with my, with my ministry's 10-year national landscapes and ecosystem restoration strategy, um, ably led by His Excellency uh, President William Ruto, where we are working to grow 15 billion trees by the year 2030. And in this strategy, one of our main intervention areas, and we have 11 of them, is the protection of wetlands. Um, and that makes me happy to be here today and in no other site than this very historic uh, Timboroa uh, Lake Narasha. And I can assure all the stakeholders here that uh, I, I normally like very holistic action. And uh, PS knows and my DGs here 
that we must finish what we start. So um, with the fencing, it needs to end uh, in good time. Ours might not be a very uh, heavy gauge fencing, but at least it will keep away the animals and a lot of movement within the wetlands. But we must step in immediately to have a very holistic plan for the water and troughing to make sure pia kuna water troughs inaenda nje ya ili ngombe waweze kupata maji na wananchi pia waweze kupata maji in a sustainable way so uh, as this fencing goes on we need to start that and, and my teams here know that when we go back to the office let us bring everybody on the table the ministry of water the county government, we have the CCs here. I know governor will assign us the right people. We sit on the table, pull our resources together. So that come next year, World Wetlands Day, we will be marking Lake Narasha as a success story of what we've been able to achieve in restoring water flows once again um, in this region. The choice of this site, Timboroa Dam, known to many as Lake Narasha, as the venue of this year's World Wetlands Day is of great significance to us as a ministry and reflects the high importance we attach to restoration of wetlands as oases of livelihoods for communities and drivers of Kenya's socioeconomic transformation. At its prime, this dam, whose source of water is the nearby Timboroa forest, and by extension, the larger Mao ecosystem supported thousands of livelihoods in this agriculturally rich region. Its decline over the years due to human activities has led to a reduction in its ecological and socioeconomic benefits. I am informed that Lake Narasha is one of Kenya's key bird sanctuaries, but the population and species of birds has reduced significantly over the years due to its shrinkage and pollution of its waters. Kenya is blessed with a diverse range of wetlands, including freshwater wetlands, seasonal wetlands, lakes, rivers, dams, and marine wetlands. Wetlands cover approximately 4% of Kenya's surface area and play a vital role in the provision of critical environmental services such as being nature's filter for water, replenishing of springs, and shielding populations from floods. The same way we say that our forests are the lungs of the earth, the wetlands therefore become the kidneys, and we need to take their protection very seriously. They are also nurseries for crops and heavens for uh, many uh, birds and fauna. Wetlands are the silent guardians of our health as they provide oxygen, which is essential for our survival and mitigation of climate change. I am happy to say that uh, through NEMA, we have been able to do a mapping of all the wetlands in the country. We are still trying to ascertain whether we have done an, 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 a very uh, exhaustive assessment, but we have 10,000 wetlands that are listed all over the country. And I, I don't know of any without a wetland. When you come to my office, you will see a map by NEMA. It is the first step towards actualizing the need to protect our wetlands. And as the DG mentioned, wetlands policy, that we have the very um, intention implementing to the core. Kenya's wet, uh, rich wet lands are first being turned into agricultural of recognition of their crucial functions and value by host communities of wetland uh, management. But we all have to take our responsibility. Anybody who can come and face me and say, this is my title right by the riverbank. So like I am game, we are agreeing that these wetlands are our kidneys. We are agreeing that they are our lifeline. 
because it is water. If governor, we are lucky that uh, I think I want to congratulate the communities around. This uh, is a showcase of a very good practice where despite having eucalyptus trees, I want to tell KFS, I think we need to harvest these trees immediately. Let's harvest them. We put the right because this is a contradiction to do today. So the issue of encroachment, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Nasi, nasi na pa, kuna mtu amesema mambo ya power so sijui ile kitu kingine ya kufanya. Governor muna muna tafuta tenda ya kukata miti mbili. I've only seen two of them. Sini hii mbili tu? Lakini naona negotiations mingi ni kama watu wanatafuta tenda ya kukata ni mbili tu. We have vast lands belonging to the former, as I am told, divided for human settlement without delineating as environmental significant areas that need protection. Consequently, the wet land leading to diminishing water resources for a county and region that is very blessed on and poor sanitation, which, as I say, will conserve the environment. As we mark this day in months of international importance, that is the Ramsar Conven Convention, national and county levels are called upon to embrace sustainable use of wetlands. That includes protection of wetlands that fall within private and public lands. That support full restoration of healthy wetlands. Um, I'm told arrow roots do very well. Of course, bamboo is one such species that uh, we should uh, to be planted around the wetlands because they provide purification, not to mention uh, controlling uh, siltation. As a ministry, as, as I said, we're implementing the 15 billion uh, tree strategy, which is a multi-stakeholder, cross-sectoral tool that seeks to sustainably address Kenya's environmental and biodiversity challenges through the whole of government, whole of society approach. Whole of government and whole of society approach means that each and every individual Kenyan, as well as our partners and friends, have a role to play in restoring our country's degraded landscapes and ecosystems, including wetlands. When we talk about 15 billion, what to work is 15 billion, it, it's so, it sounds so monumental, you know, like insurmountable. But if you do the math and just divide 15 billion by the minimum of 50 million Kenyans, it translates to 30 trees per person per year. And only 300 trees per person in 10 years. And our small girl, Sasha, who spoke here, she said she has planted 100 trees already. And she's only five years old. Tumpigie Sasha Makofi. Sasha Mesema, at five years, she has planted her five, 100 trees. And we are only requiring that you do 30 the whole year. Jameni siyo inawezekana. Na ni kupanda kwa forest, in your own backyard, in your farm, ata tukitoa zile buffer zones, in our, in our own farms. Please don't wait for government, don't wait for the ministry to be the one to do this. Let us all take responsibility. And again, I thank uh, Governor Mandago. Let us have so many of us coming forward. It, it is a simple act of supporting life, not just for you, because if, if we destroy the environment, we all perish together. If we sustain it and protect it, then it saves all of us. So hakuna mtu ataka kwa kona yake kusema mimi ndatengeneza yangu peke yangu. We have to pull each other together so that we realize success together. As you may be aware,
the national government works closely with county governments on environment and biodiversity conservation through tiered intergovernmental frameworks, including the county environment committees that are chaired by county executives responsible for environmental matters. At the national level, our ministry works closely with the Council of Governors. Within national government, the ministry of, uh, works with sister ministries through climate change units established in all ministries. It is through this whole of government, whole of society approach to climate action that my ministry uh, working with the national treasury was able to develop the financing locally led climate action FLOCA program, the five year 297 million US dollar World Bank supported initiative that county governments received the first tranche of 7.3 billion Kenya shillings to support climate action in counties. And this is an example of how we can pull together. And I'm happy to say that we are finalizing commitment from the Council of Governors that this Flocker money, 20% of the Flocker money, will go towards supporting our ecosystem restoration program. On the side of the members of parliament, and has been said by the chairman of the CDF committee, Honorable Sirma, to Mexicana and members of parliament, we have worked together, we have done kamukunjis to kakubaliana. CDF, to where we enhance ile amount ambayo inaenda kwa conservation, ecosystem restoration. And I'm thankful again to my committee members, the chair of CDF, for supporting us and supporting the country because we are supporting each other by agreeing to up the CDF allocation to 5% that goes towards environmental activities. Sasa tutaketi pamoja, tukubaliane jinsi ya kuweza kutumia iyo 5% in a most effective way. And the same way, how we will use the 20% flocker with the governors in a very effective way. Now, just sitting down with the governor, be there. The most critical thing, we want to encourage our governors, come up with green zones within the cities. Urban gre um, greenery, that is one uh, priority. And number two, intensive propagation of seedlings within those uh, green zones. And I'm happy that uh, you have connected me with your CEC and we will be assured that we will follow up so that we sit together. You have KFS in your county, uh, you have NEMA in your county, and we are moving to a place where hakuna kazi ya KFS na ile ya NEMA, we are all pulling in the same direction. So please, Governor, bring the county environment committees together. The National Government Administration, we have targets for everybody. I'm sure county commissioner, you know the targets for, for, for you, from your chiefs up to your level of how many trees you're supposed to, to grow. And through these county environment committees where the national government, um, uh, the Ngaos are represented, the governor, KFS, NEMA, when we sit at the county level, then we can be able to actualize the flock allocation with the members of parliament through schools, we can then also actualize the 5% that we have all agreed together. Na kuna mambo ya carbon credit. Tumemaliza sheria. One of the main things we did last year is to amend our Climate Change Act so that Kenya can move in step with the rest of the world. To may institutionalize carbon markets, uh, a carbon markets framework, we are finalizing the regulations again with the support of members of parliament. Ili tukiambia wanainji watusaidie katika conservation ya misitu na wetlands. There is something in it for them which translates to a livelihood support. Na hiyo moja ni carbon markets. Kwa mdamrefu, carbon trading imefanyika Kenya but ukienda kwa village, not even village, hata ukienda kwa governor umulize kuna carbon credits inakuliwa kwa county yako. You have no idea of how that is happening or even members of parliament. But now the law is there. It has been done elsewhere. We must do that and devolve it to the lowest level. Ndiyo hawa CFS wakitufanyia kazi, 
wapate pesa ya carbon credit in a very transparent fashion and i'm ensuring that the regulations that we are going to release to parliament in the next few weeks are going to ensure that ile benefit sharing is transparent uh, na kuna accountability the same thing mweshimiwa uh, from turkana said we have just finalized a framework to bring a, a sovereign green bond again that is in support of climate financing we need the money to put our country in shape ndio tukisema tufanye infrastructure ya maji we conserve we plant trees we get money from carbon credits we are able to do development so i would like to assure the county government the members of parliament all our partners and in this coming week i'm meeting the private sector ceos of banks and different institutions so that we pull together and um Uh, support all the efforts that the government is doing allow me to conclude by reporting that recent efforts by nema and partners including host communities to restore some of our country's wetlands are giving very encouraging results in july last year i visited the chalbi desert sijui ni wangapi wamefika chalbi desert it's the largest desert Uh, I can see Dr. Chumo has been to Chalbi and also uh, Mugo. Chalbi I think is is the largest desert we have around this country. Yeah, in Kenya. And just the mere act of fencing off a section of the desert because again it's, Chalbi desert has a lot of uh, wetlands which are lying idle. Uki fence to work a fence around a small area it regenerates you have small lakes and water points all over chalbi just by fencing so i want to encourage all of us and say that when we put in effort to conserve the environment pays back immediately but when we don't do that then we get also instant justice in the other way you know So we can uh, pride ourselves that we have Tiniko, Hori, uh, these are wetlands that have been fenced and they have regenerated in a very amazing way. Kalacha and we also have um, a wetland in Narok called Nkongwenkare. Uh, we have the likes of Ondiri uh, dam which feed the Nairobi rivers uh, uh, ecosystem tumeona kwa macho that when you put in a little effort to conserve these wetlands they restore our water volumes they support livelihoods so it's i like to say it's a low hanging fruit so governor members of parliament members of the community our private sector ngos let us pull together um, because we are going to see results as i con uh, conclude i want to say that uh, I'm aware of the spillage that has been talked about here that happened in the 80s and uh, I think it has taken is it 90s in the 80s from an accident and uh, I'm told that there could still be uh, remnants of the oil that actually spilled here and I have just instructed Nema um, I'm told Kenya pipeline is here there is a representation of Kenya pipeline just like we did with the Q wetland I would like the teams to come back here do the necessary testing in 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 record time I don't think that will take time so that we don't have actually we need the water tested for quality and to make sure that the spillage is not extending to the water that the communities are drinking but beyond that to clear that spillage and make sure that the quality of water that we will be dealing with is then uh, safe uh, for consumption uh, by the communities Um mambo ya boundaries itaongelea nimeambiwa hiyo ni local hiyo ni maneno local but i can assure you he maji to make sure it has no boundaries it must serve the people of baringo the people of wasingishu and i will assure you hata itaenda kwa watu wa kisumu ile story nimesikia hapa kuna vile hii maji iko na maneno yeah so Eh, hata hiyo mambo ya boundaries tukizika hapa itaenda iende like Victoria na ipotee kabisa tushikane pamoja we conserve uh, this lake 
So we have to come up with a joint enforcement plan. I will reach out to, like I said, we will have a meeting back in the office with all the stakeholders, including the water ministry. Um, and we have a lot of partners supporting us on various projects. I think this is one that is very easy, that if effort is put in here, fundraise, bring everybody together, we will make sure that everybody has water uh, to drink. Communities wetu na washukuru kwa sababu ya kuendelea kushikana mikono na sisi. Community Forest Associations asanteni kwa ile kazi mnafanya na tutaendelea kutafuta ushirikiano mwema na nimesikia community wakiongea hapa wakisema watafuata masharti ya Kenya Forest Service tafadhali tufuate. Kwa sababu tukisema tuwapatie mfanye pelis ama ile e, shamba system alafu mtu anaingia forest na tractor. Hiyo ni pelis kweli? Hapana. So inaharibia kila mtu. So for now mheshimiwa Sirma unfortunately Story ya, ya maindi sa hii hapana. Kwa sababu tumeenda mahali zingine hata let me not even mention places because we've had a very nice function. Wacha nisitaje ni wapi? Mahali unakuta tractor ndani ya forest na mtu anasema ni pelis. Mahali unakuta maindi iko juu na hakuna mti hata mmoja mtu anasema ni pelis. You know that's not fair. Sasa ndio imearibu kila kitu za hii. So let us just keep off the forests for now. In fact, our biggest priority is fencing. Once we fence, maji itatiririka, itoke kwa forest, yende mpaka kwa wananchi na irudi kwa mito. Na tukifanya hivyo, we will be helping all of us to support our livelihoods. Uh, lakini communities, uh, the, the Kenya Forest Service have instructions. Mambo ya vita vita na, na wananchi, hiyo lazima iko ikome. Watu tushirikiane pamoja. Ukiambiwa mtu anataka sikila mtu anataka maji. Ya? Na mambo ya uh, forest plantations. I know many leaders have talked about that. We want the first line of defense of our ecosystems to be the beneficiaries. They must be the ones benefiting in as much as we have every other Kenyan who wants to come and uh, you know also do extraction and, and, and harvesting. We have to make sure we are taking care of the very smaller uh, saw millers. Kenya Forest Service have those instructions. So that while we first line, be a wakati kuna iyo harvesting, it, 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 it has to uh, benefit them. Waone faida. Na wale wamekua kipiga kelele kusema ati uh, akuna harvesting, ni watu hawailewi mambo ya misitu. Because if we have commercial plantations, they, are, they, they have a time frame. You plant a, an exotic tree after 20, 30 years, Mwishimua Sirima unajua, it has to be harvested. And, and we are working to restore our wood market in this country so that we stop importing toothpicks. And what will feed that is our commercial plantations. So, tutashirikiana hapo, tuwakikishe the Forest adjacent communities are also benefiting the right way. Na watu wa carbon watakwambia mti ikioza kwa msitu it emits a lot of carbon into the air. So it is defeating even our efforts to reduce carbon emissions. So mambo ya moratoria sisi as an administration of His Excellency William Ruto moratorium does not help. We are going to enhance enforcement like we have employed many rangers we are going to make sure that the relationship between the communities and Kenya Forest Service is thriving so that we make sure that we don't have Pia Wakora ambao wana take advantage, wana ingia pale na kuwarebu misitu. Na tukishirikiana vizuri, mambo ya kuharvest miti, kila mtu watafaidika. Na ile manufai natokana na kuhifadhi misitu, itafaidi kila mtu. Asanteni sana watu wa Wasingishu County, uh, na wabaringo county eh, mungu wa wabariki sana uh, tuta endelea kushirikiana eh, governor na pia eh, wa, watu wa elgeo marakwet we will, we will come there to make sure that we are all on the same page hakuna vita kwa sababu hii ni mambo ya maisha jyo tutembe pamoja 
uh, ninaelezwa ya kwamba kuna eh, some awards ambazo zitapeanwa kwa wale watu ambao wamefanya vizuri kwa mambo ya conservation so nitamuita PS aweze kutuendesha kwa hiyo awamu kwa kifupi sana alafu uh, tuweze kumalizia asanteni sana Ingo Beru Roje Ofa nimesema vizuri asanteni sana tumpikie makofi